Hey guys, my quest to try out McDonald's from all around the world continues. And of course, right now I am in Madrid, Spain, and they got some interesting burgers here. Let me show you. Signature goat cheese for sure. And you can customize as much as you want on this sandwich. No! Oh, that's a nightmare. No! Add a tomato. There we go. Gotta have something healthy to offset all that goat cheese. Okay. Uh, huh, McDonald's news. What? Okay, so these are all the new sandwiches. There's a burger with camembert cheese. Yes, please. And camembert melts. Oh, sweet. With deluxe sauce. And then McFlurry with Caja Roja. Oh, okay, I'm gonna get that last though. That looks good. Grand Extreme Chicken and Mushroom. Pastries. Donuts. Glazed donut or chocolate donut. Sure. Sides and salads. Oh, let's get potato wedges. Oh, you can get beer at this McDonald's? Well, that's interesting. I mean, I don't drink, but hey, if you want a beer with your burger, you can do that here. Big crispy barbecue. This is really neat. They give you a signature collection tray for your signature food items. And this is what I'm gonna try first because I don't want this to get cold. The melty cheddar cheese, little bits of bacon, all over potato wedges. Oh. Bacon is nice and crunchy. Potato wedges, go ahead. I dare you to say anything bad about potato wedges. Cheese, melty and creamy. You can tell all this just came out of the fryer. Very nice quality. Oh, I'm gonna check this out. I got a bonus fry. This is like winning the McDonald lottery. Dip the bonus fries in that cheese sauce. Get some bacon attached to it. Mm. Quality, love this. Camembert nuggets. I'll show you this is something I gotta eat right away as well. Dip this in the deluxe sauce. Oh. Yes. Mm. Try chunks of quality cheese. McDonald's Spain, you outdid yourself on this one. Perfectly cooked. Crunchy on the outside. Melty, beautiful, smooth camera bear on the inside. This is McDonald's because I am loving it. Oh, outstanding cheesy flavor. And just listen to that crunch. You heard that? That should be the new McDonald's theme song. This is the ham croquette, filled with cheese and chunks of ham. Oh, that is insanely good. That's better than a camembert. Cheesy and potato-y, little bits of ham that you can actually taste. Super crispy outer shell. The burgers taste half as good as the little poppers. This might be the best McDonald's experience I've ever had. This is the McStream Chicken Mushroom Burger. Nice quality bun. Ooh. A bunch of mushrooms. What look like fried onions. Lettuce, cheese, chicken patty. This is the McStream Camel Bear Burger. A little smaller than I thought. Should have maybe got an extra patty on this. This is the extra crispy burger. Again, the crispy stuff, barbecue sauce, lettuce and cheese. All right, so the camembert cheese is, I guess, the liquid form? I mean, it's not the slices of yellow cheese. Camembert is white, so maybe it's mixed into the sauce here. This is the highlight. This is the goat cheeseburger. And what's special about this is that it's made with Galician beef. Galician beef is something I never heard of until I came to Spain. And it's a local cattle. There's my goat cheese, some caramelized onions, and this apparently is, is, is a lettuce burger. That's a lot of lettuce. Mm. 
starting with the crispy barbecue burger. Love the bun, not too thick. Couple pieces of patty soaked in barbecue sauce and cheese. Mm. Right away, you can tell this is excellent beef. No beef burger in the US tastes like this. The patties have an extremely beefy flavor, just good beef flavor. Not like the chemically beefy flavor you get in a lot of McDonald's in the States. Barbecue sauce, a little sweet, a little tangy. I love the crunch of the fried onions. The bun's not dry, very fluffy, very airy. The bun to meat ratio, absolutely perfect. This is a winner. Next up, the mix extreme chicken and mushroom burger, which I like to dub my lettuce burger because that's essentially all I see is lettuce. I mean, look at that. The steamy is a hedge trimmer. Ah, all right. Ooh, mushrooms are falling out. Mmm, mushrooms are good. It's good. There's nothing wrong with this burger except for the, the excess weed growth. The patty's crunchy, it's juicy. But there's really nothing special about this. It just tastes like a bigger version of a McChicken sandwich. I mean, it's good. It's not dry. Like I said, the patty is cooked perfectly. Crispy on the outside, tender on the inside. But that's about it. This is the quote unquote camembert burger. I hope I can taste the camembert cheese in here. Bun looks good, very pillowy. I taste the camembert. Mm -hmm. Actually, strong camembert flavor. I actually really like this burger. The camembert cheese has an exquisite, milky, smooth, rich flavor, which combined with a beefy filet deeply satisfied the burger craving I was having. Mm. That cheese is everywhere. Every single bite you take, you smell it, you taste it. It's essentially the star of the show here. And what I like about this is they put the bacon on the bottom so it's not soaking in any of the sauce and it stays actually kind of crispy. Really love the camembert in here. Plays such a huge role. Just take this little treasure flag off. Finally, the gold cheese Galician beef burger. This is a hefty burger. It almost looks like a burger monster with beefy tongue sticking out. Arr. This is bordering on ridiculously good. If this exact burger was brought to me in a sit-down restaurant, wouldn't think twice. Would not. Tons of goat cheese all over this thick, juicy patty. And what Galician beef is, it literally means old fat cow. Basically, most burgers are made out of cattle that are younger and hence more tender. But Galician beef subscribed to the school of thought that let the cow age and get fat and old, and then it's gonna become more tender. Basically, let the cow collect its pension, then turn it into a burger. And a lot of people consider this beef the best in the world. I don't know if I agree with that, but it has such a deep, beefy flavor. Oh, and the meat is ridiculously tender. Maybe they're onto something. I know when I get old, I'm gonna be much plushier and softer than I am right now. That mixed with the soft, tangy flavor of the goat cheese, yeah, this thing deserves this flag. It does. Juiciest, tastiest McDonald's burger. So yeah, I needed to get this. Gaja Roja McFlurry. Oh yeah, crunchy bits of wafers, smooth chocolate. McDonald's in Spain. Holy cow, such an amazing experience. Completely 180 to the experience I had in France. Difference in quality between the two countries, unbelievable. Oh, <laughs> one last thing I totally forgot. I got, I got a chocolate donut. Even a donut's good here. You know how to make this better? <laughs> Slather so many flory on this. Mm. And we're not done. I also saw on Burger King's menu, there's some amazing burgers. So. Let's go eat that now. I'm mainly here for this, the Grand Whiskey Barbecue Burger. Wow. Yes, please. Let's just double patty this for good measure. Chili cheese bites. And this is really cool. The King Single, and it comes with a fried egg on top. They also have the, ooh, alcohol free. I can do this. Didn't order that much, just wanted to try the whiskey burger and the King Single. There it is. This is my non-alcoholic can of beer. I've actually never had non-alcoholic beer. 
Here it is. Grand Whiskey Barbecue. Oh, the reason I am here. Whoa. Beautiful bun. Oh, huge slice of tomatoes. Look at that massive beef patty. The bun actually looks really airy, a little crispy on the outside. Huge beef patties and barbecue whiskey sauce. Patty smell and looks amazing. It's really eat this the right way. I'm ready. This burger is really no frill. I mean, while McDonald's piled on the lettuce, this thing, a couple slices of tomatoes, piece of gooey goat cheese, and a couple of monster patties. That's it. Dripping with whiskey barbecue sauce. Oh man, this is day old bun. This is for sure day old bun. What I thought was crispiness is actually stale. And that's a shame because the rest of this burger is marvelous. Patties are tender and juicy, huge beef flavor. Love the tangy goat cheese. Goes so well with the sweet and whiskey tasting sauce. It does taste like whiskey. Signature flame broiled Burger King patty flavor. Amazing burger. Ruined by the stale bun. Mozzarella bite. You see how fresh this is. Cheesy, crispy, perfect. Mozzarella triangles. Also got a chili cheese bite. Oh, gooey cheese, little bits of chili. These taste like miniature jalapeno poppers. Oh, those are amazing. In Spain, no matter if you're going to Burger King or McDonald's, get the fried cheese. Can't go wrong with that. Let's try this alcoholic free beer. Oh, I knew there's a reason I stopped drinking beer. Whew. Wow. Yeah, I think one sip's enough. Last burger. This is the King Single. What makes it special is there's an egg in here bacon, tomatoes cheese on a patty. This egg actually looks really, really pretty. It's like a golden UFO. Oh, it's actually nice and gooey. That's a good yolk. I like this better than the whiskey burger. There's something about this beef patty that's making my heart skip a beat. Mainly because I didn't expect Burger King beef patties to taste this good. Gooey, creamy egg on top. Again, that signature Burger King flame broil taste. <laughs> I think after eating at McDonald's and eating here, my favorite burger has to be the signature McDonald's burger. My second favorite, this one right here. But what really impressed me about both places, quality of the beef, freshness of the ingredients, and the fried cheese. But overall, the fast food scene in Spain, I'm loving it. And hopefully you guys enjoyed this video review of McDonald's and Burger King here in Spain. So until we eat again, See you later.